so that I could get back to my other patients without delay. After taking his interim history and examining him, he would invite me for a cup of tea. He always would say a silent prayer first as he held his cup. Then we would discuss our favorite subjects, the latest in medical developments, the Old Testament, and its application in today's world, international on medicine, diet, and lifestyle. For the record, as Gideon said yesterday, yes, Mazé loved his meat. <laughs> he also enjoyed sharing a small glass of sweet, kosher, sacramental wine from Israel, Wazé. <laughs> there was only one issue in which I could not sway him. That was his working too many hours. I even resorted to using the words from Exodus when Jethro advised his son-in-law Moses, the things you are doing are not right. You will surely wear yourself out. Make it easy for yourself and let them share the burden. But this did not sway his work ethic, nor does it sway mine much to make sure we were not eating exotic animals, just as cats, snake, dog, nor drinking buffalo milk when we were in China. <laughs> as a friend, he participated in my major life events, holding my firstborn son on his eighth day of life for his circumcision, and attending my marriage to Hannah. After his retirement, we shared meant God-fearing Christian. And as a Jew and the head of the Jewish community on, uh, of, uh, of Kenya, our trips to Israel was always poignant for both of us. Adic relations and support in the UN. Israel helped Kenya with educational, agricultural, and infrastructure development internal security, and even sending Israeli emergency response to teams to some of our disasters. Mazay was devastated when his friend, Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, was killed, and he was unable to attend Shloshim. That is the 30th day of mourning, would be a special act of great respect. He told me, of a similar tradition among the Kalenjins. And then he turned to Dr. Sally Kosquet and said, make arrangements, we are going. As the only international on many traditions in common between the Jews and the Kalenjins, such as dietary habits, holidays, rites of passage, and even burial. We pondered if Kalenjins, this was his thesis, were not one of the lost tribes of Israel. When Mazay needed cataract surgery, he chose to go to Israel, the land of miracles. Though medical investigations yield nothing much more than the need for increased physical therapy, however, spiritual therapy must have Mazay by the color, colorful aromatic souks to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which contains two of the holiest sites in Christianity. The site where Jesus was crucified and where he was said to have been buried and resurrected. There, Mazay, touching the stone where Jesus was laid out after his crucifixion, he called out to me, Daktari, Angelia, Yesu, Alika, Hapa, Hapa, as he touched the stone with great excitement. In the days that followed, Mazay seemed invigorated to the extent that medicine cannot explain and liveliness. During, during his final illness, this strong leader fought hard. His belief in his faith and his family never faltered. In the hospital, he was appreciative and gracious. He listened to the sermons of evangelical preachers. Alas, his old body had fought all its battles. At age somewhere around 103, Mazay died. We grieve our patriarch, but grief 
comes from love. That is its origin. During his last four months, Gideon and I witnessed Mazay, Mazay's positive response whenever I told him about the special prayer, Hebrew prayer, I said for him every Shabbat, every Sabbath in the synagogue. Mazay, this is the final prayer I can offer you that your soul may forever rest beneath the wings of the divine present. And it is brief.